So let's be real, no one likes to be scammed. Like who in the right mind would be like, yes, today I'm gonna be scammed. No. So there are a lot of scams going around New York City, as there is anywhere in the world, right? But there are a few that I want you to watch out for in New York City. So one big scam that happens in New York City and probably other places around the world as well is advertising rentals that don't actually exist in New York City. So if you're ever on one of the rental websites or a Craigslist or just anywhere online and see an apartment that is too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Like if the price does not match the pictures, then it's too good to be true. So this is a very, very big scam that happened in New York City because a lot of people advertise apartments that don't exist at all, or more popular, I would say, is they do the bait and switch where they have these amazing pictures online, but then when you actually go to see the apartment, it's a complete like gigantic piece of crap. And you saw these amazing pictures online, you're like, wait, where are those pictures? And they're like, that's not, that one was already taken. That's like a, a common thing that people do. Oh, that, that, one's, that one's gone, but we have a comparable one and it's this piece of crap. So that's very popular in New York City. Now, and it's called a bait and switch. So the only way that you're gonna really run into like a bait and switch like that is if you see something that is way too good to be true for the price. If that's the case in a neighborhood that everybody wants to be in, it's definitely a bait and switch. So if you ever feel like uneasy about an apartment that you're reaching out to, you might want to actually work with an actual like dedicated agent that works just with you, like a real estate agent that works with you, because as a real estate agent, our job is to figure out what is a bait and switch and what's not. So we have ways of doing that just by working in New York City for so long, we kind of know what exactly is a bait and switch and what's not. So as a real estate agent, I don't always recommend that people work with a real estate agent. Like I'm not gonna push that on people because I think that you can definitely find an apartment without a real estate agent for sure. But if you're uneasy or scared or don't know if something's too good to be true or not, then maybe working with a real estate agent is your best bet because they can definitely help you figure that out for sure. There's been so many times where I've looked at an apartment listing with someone I'm working with and I'm just like, that's not real. That's not gonna be the apartment that they're gonna show you. I can just tell you right now. So after doing this for so many years, you kind of can know off the top of your head what's real and what's not. So another one that's very popular, another scam that's very popular in New York City is fake tickets. So fake concert tickets, fake Broadway tickets, people who are just trying to sell tickets outside of the theaters that people are going to. And unfortunately, people still fall for this to this day. Now, every so often, maybe someone is selling a real ticket. However, I would never risk that. There are too many ways to buy tickets online or through box offices that it makes no sense to buy a ticket on the side of the street anymore. I do not ever recommend doing that. So even if the deal seems like an amazing deal, it's definitely not gonna be worth it if the ticket is not valid. So please just try to look in advance and figure out another way to buy tickets. And there are so many different ticket discount sites nowadays, really more than ever before. So honestly, there's just no excuse to buy something outside of a theater anymore. Now, another scam I would say is that so there are a lot of vendors in New York City that sell counterfeit goods and you will see some of the fake designer stuff looks like looks really real. Some of it does not at all, but some of it you're just like, wow, that that's that's fake. You got that for under $100. That's kind of crazy. So like New York City does crack down on this a lot, the counterfeit goods, because it's all over the place, especially if you're going downtown, if you're like right outside of Soho or Chinatown, um, there's a lot of this happening. Now, some of it is like obviously counterfeit and like they're almost like not even trying to like pretend it's real. And then there's others that it's like, you're basically like doing a deal when you're like buying a counterfeit good. It's kind of crazy. So there's a lot of that that happens in New York City. So that's something that you should just be aware of. A lot of the counterfeit stuff is being sold to the Chinatown Soho area, which is Canal Street. So I was kind of like up in the air about putting this in the video because so it's not really a scam if you know what you're buying. So it's just more something that you should be aware of because I don't know, maybe there are sometimes people who think that it's real and are kind of like amazed at the deal and it's like definitely not real. So another scam that you will see specifically in Midtown and around Times Square more than any other place I would say is the CD scam. So there are a lot of people who are like, I guess, pretending to be like fake rappers and they're going around selling their mixtape on a CD and they'll have like a CD in a little like sleeve or like plastic case or something and they'll be like $10 for like my mixtape and then they'll like sign the mixtape for you but then you put it in your like CD player. I don't I don't even have a CD player so I, if you have a CD player and you put it in it's like a blank CD and it doesn't work but I don't honestly I don't even know how the scam still exists because my thing is like who's buying a CD because who has a CD player? Like I don't have a CD player. I, if I fell for the scam and bought the CD, I wouldn't even know it's a scam because I wouldn't know what to do with the CD. I would just be like, oh, okay, I just supported this artist that I saw on the street. Like I wouldn't even catch the scam because I don't have a CD player. But if you do have a CD player and you do see someone selling those like 
mixtapes on the street. They're not real and they're definitely not real artists. So it's a scam that has been around for a while now. And I think the scam used to make a little bit more sense when CDs were a thing, but now they're not really a thing. So the scam doesn't really make sense, but I do see it. I literally just saw it maybe a week or two ago. So it's still existing in Manhattan right now. So another very popular scam is, so there are fake monks that walk around Manhattan. So most of them are in the Times Square area or the High Line actually in the meatpacking district. So the park kind of like in the sky of Manhattan. So those are the two areas that have these fake monks, I would say. Like you might see them in some other neighborhoods, but that's mostly where it's gonna be. And these fake monks are dressed in monk outfit. And what they do is they come up to you and they put this like bracelet on. So like say they, they put this bracelet on you and then they pretend like they're giving you a gift the bracelet, but then they ask you to pay like a certain amount of money for the bracelet. And it's a scam because they're coming up to you and putting the bracelet on you and then saying, pay me. <laughs> and then basically saying, pay me. So it's not like you ask them for the bracelet or it was like, how much are you charging for this bracelet? I guess that'd be a little different. So that's gonna be a very, very big scam. So what you can do is just be like, I don't want this bracelet, throw it at them and walk away because they're not a real monk. And it's also, oh, they also say that it's supporting their church but the church that they typically show is like not a real church at all. It's like a church randomly like outside of New York City, I think. So definitely not a real monk. It's not a real powerful bracelet and it doesn't go to the church. So the whole thing's a scam. I would just give them the bracelet back and walk away and just forget it ever happened. And then the last New York City scam to watch out for is by far the funniest in my book. So. In Times Square, if you have been to Times Square, you probably have seen like characters walking around Times Square. So people dressed up in like those, char those character like mascot outfits, like Elmo. We're gonna put some pictures of these mascots in this video because I think it's so funny. Yes, yeah, so you'll see, <laughs> you'll see people walking around in an Elmo costume, Minnie Mouse costume, like Winnie the Pooh. I'm looking at all these different ones. Spider-Man, that's one that you'll see. And the costumes are hilarious because like, you know, if you go to Disney World and you see like classic Minnie Mouse costume, it's very authentic. The ones that you see in Times Square are like the botched, cheap version <laughs> that look nothing like the character, but enough like the character where you could tell what they're going for, but it just doesn't actually look like the real Minnie Mouse. It is hysterical. Like, it's hysterical to see these costumes. And what they do is they come up to like kids or families and take a picture, the families, but then they ask for money and basically like stand in front of you like until you give them money, like forcing you to give them money. And then people do because they feel bad and they took the picture, but like they might have not even wanted the picture to begin with and the costume looks terrible. So it's like, that's actually hilarious. The costumes are so funny to me that honestly, it might be worth taking a picture with the costume just as kind of like a gag picture because it's that funny. I would honestly pay 10 bucks and like look back at that and be like, that picture was so worth it because the costumes are so ridiculous. And we're gonna share some of the pictures here in this video so you can see how ridiculous these costumes are. But that's a big scam. And they basically make money off of the tips that people are giving them when they're in the picture. So I guess, I don't know, it, it is a scam because like you didn't ask to take the picture with them, but at the same time, like I guess they're it's basically just like a paid picture. So maybe a little less of a scam than the monk, than the whole like fake monk thing at least. So those are gonna be some of the New York City scams to watch out for. I would say that those are the big ones that have been taking place for years now and are kind of like the timeless scams of New York City. If there were ever some new new scams that come up, I definitely will make a like follow-up video about them. Now, if you have been scammed in New York City, please, if you feel comfortable, share your experience in the comments because I think it really does help other people. And if you have any other New York City scams that I didn't mention in this video, or maybe just I'm not aware of, please share them as well because as always, I love hearing from you guys.